Bitcoin has been ripping to the upside. It's been awesome to see after such a long period of sideways consolidation. And Bitcoin is doing what it's always done at this point in the four-year cycle, right around the presidential election. That tends to be an inflection point for crypto, where we officially enter the next phase of the bull cycle. So the next couple of months here could be really exciting in crypto. We have some really powerful tailwinds behind us that I'm going to talk about. And I also want to talk about altcoins and specifically the role of Bitcoin dominance and how we can use Bitcoin dominance to figure out when we're likely to see a major, major leg up in altcoins. We'll also talk about how to get positioned with altcoins. What specific altcoins should we be buying so that we can really get positioned to capitalize on what is likely to come in this crypto bull market? We have a lot to talk about today, so let's jump into it. So as I record this, Bitcoin is over $91,000, and we've also seen altcoins start to lift over the last week as well. So you're starting to see more liquidity flowing into the crypto space. And this is really no surprise. Again, if you follow Bitcoin's four-year cycle, we can look and we can see that this type of price action has happened in the past repeatedly. So if we go back to the prior cycle, you can see that Bitcoin put in an interim bottom right around the election. I think it actually was the week of the election. And then from there, it was just pretty much purely upside. Same thing in the cycle before that, the 2016-17 cycle. We saw Bitcoin uh, right here during the election. And then after that, boom, shot straight off. And in the cycle before that, Bitcoin did the exact same thing. And you can see that from the election to the peak of each bull run, the span was about 12 months. So if this cycle repeats, that is what we're looking at. Now, we're not going to try to predict everything that's going to happen between now and the next 12 months in crypto. That, that would be really tough to do. But I do want to talk about the next two to three months, because I think that in that time frame, we are entering sort of an inflection point in altcoins where we could really start to see capital flowing from Bitcoin into altcoins. We might start to see major, major rallies happening in the altcoin space. And one of the key factors that, that we can look at that, that's telling me that is Bitcoin dominance. So over here on the left, we have a chart of Bitcoin dominance. And over here on the right, we have the total three chart. This is basically an index of altcoins. And if we look over here at Bitcoin dominance and we go back to the 2016, 2017 cycle, you can see that here's the election in early November of 2016. And Bitcoin dominance just kind of moved along sideways until basically late February 2017. So what is that? That's about three months. So between the election and the time that Bitcoin dominance started to fall off a cliff, it was about three months. So what happened? Well, you can see the inverse relationship between dominance and altcoin prices. You can see that as Bitcoin dominance dropped, altcoin prices rocketed upwards. Now, we don't have price action going all the way back here to the presidential election for the total three chart, but we can at least measure from the bottom here. And we can see that during this time, altcoins went up by collectively, if we go all the way to the peak, collectively about 3,500% or so. We can also see the Bitcoin dominance bottomed just as altcoins topped. And that was in January of 2018, so about a year later. Okay, so let's move forward here now and let's look at what happened in the next cycle, the 2020-2021 cycle. And you'll see that something very similar played out. So you can see that here was the election again in early November of 2020. And Bitcoin dominance kind of chopped along here. It made kind of one more run to the top here. And that's when it peaked. It peaked in late December, late December, actually, yeah, late December, early January of 2020. And you can see what was happening with altcoins. Altcoins had basically been moving sideways during that period. However, they, they did go up. Let's actually measure. So from the time of the election, which was right here, altcoins were here and they rose to, here's the point where Bitcoin dominance topped. Okay, so altcoins went up by about 43% or so, 40, 45% or so 
during that time. But then look what happened. Bitcoin dominance again began its grand descent. And as it did that, altcoins skyrocketed to the upside. Let's look at how much altcoins increased during that time. So Bitcoin dominance topped here and began to go down and altcoins, altcoins really increased all the way till over here. We did have, have a dip here, but the altcoin rally officially extended all the way to November of 2021 and altcoins went up collectively by over 600%. So looking at the past two cycles, we can see that they performed fairly similarly when looking at the relationship between Bitcoin dominance and altcoin price action. We can also see a few slight differences though. We can see that in the 2016-2017 cycle, from the time of the election to the point where Bitcoin dominance topped was about three months, whereas in the 2020-2021 cycle, the time period between the election and the time Bitcoin dominance topped was about two months. Also, the altcoin rally that ensued after Bitcoin dominance topped in 2017 lasted about a year, all the way until early January 2018, whereas in the 2020-2021 cycle, the altcoin rally lasted until about November, so about from January to November. So it was a little bit shorter than the prior cycle. So let's fast forward to today and see how things look. Okay, so we've just had our election. If we look at the past two cycles, we can therefore get a pretty good idea of what is likely to come next. We can see that Bitcoin dominance has been moving up aggressively for quite some time. And in fact, it's moved into a pretty key resistance area. You can see all of this, all of this over here is, is basically resistance. Bitcoin dominance is now above 60%. And again, it's moved in to, to this key resistance area. Now, why is this resistance? Well, it's because this is the area where Bitcoin dominance really went into free fall back in 2021. So if we just zoom in on the chart here, we can see that there was a lot of consolidation around this price level or this Bitcoin dominance level right here at about 60, 61 percent. You can see Bitcoin dominance coming down and really testing this level, trying to hold this level before it finally broke through and basically went into free fall. You can also see this area acting as support and resistance back here and even back here, all the way back here to 2018. So this is a key area and you can see that Bitcoin dominance again is coming up and it's really testing this area. And, it's, and of course, it's very interesting because it's testing this key resistance level right at the time of the election when we're entering that window of time when historically Bitcoin dominance has rolled over and we started to see capital really start to flow into altcoins. Now, shifting to the macro landscape, again, we've got these really bullish tailwinds behind crypto right now that are really setting the stage for what could be a pretty epic altcoin rally. And it really revolves around what's happening with, with uh, the president. So you can see here that Pintoshi says we are two months away from a sitting U.S. president that holds crypto being in office and an administration that will nurture it versus trying to butcher it. So the crypto space has been really suppressed. There's been a lot of pushback. There have been a lot of challenges with the current administration or with the, the, the Biden administration and with the SEC chair, Gary Gensler, and all of the pushback and the blockages that he has put in place that's made it more difficult for crypto investors. Well, it seems like the lid is basically being taken off of all of that. and We're entering a whole new paradigm with the new administration. So Trump has specifically been talking about setting up a strategic Bitcoin reserve. And that absolutely would be a game changer if the US started accumulating Bitcoin. I mean, just think of the impact that would have. A bunch of other countries would start buying too and the price could really get into, into crazy, crazy territory um, if that started happening. Now, whether this is going to actually happen or not, we don't need to really worry about that right now because it's such a strong tailwind. And it's not just fluff. Real steps are being taken to make this happen. Just in, Senator Cynthia Lemons says we can pass the strategic Bitcoin reserve bill in the first 100 days of Trump's presidency. 
So this is serious. This is something that's being seriously discussed. And then on top of that, we've got these other bullish catalysts behind the scenes. So you've probably seen how Do Dogecoin, the price of Dogecoin has rocketed lately. Well, Elon Musk has been put in charge of the, the Department of Government Efficiency, which conveniently spells out Doge. You can see that he's retweeting this graphic with uh, the, the Doge dog over here. So we've got pro crypto Elon Musk in on things here. He's perhaps Bitcoin's biggest influencer right now, along with Trump. Charles Edwards says, with Bitcoin now above 90,000, the narrative is shifted from the Trump trade to Bitcoin strategic reserve front running. Okay, so what do we do with all of this information? Well, I think that signs are pointing to that we could see a pretty major altcoin rally here in the months ahead, sometime in the next one to three month time frame. So if you're not positioned yet and you really wanna capitalize on this crypto cycle, I think it's worth it to really start thinking about getting positioned and getting positioned quickly. Now, this is not investment advice, but this is what we're doing. And so, of course, I want to tell you what we're doing to take advantage of this market. OK, so what altcoins should we be buying to prepare for all of this? That's a big question that we get a lot. So I want to give you a shortcut in this video. Yes, you can take the time to research different altcoins. You can take the time to get familiar with the different narratives that are happening right now in the crypto space. And that's great. If you have the experience and the time to do that, definitely do that. We put out new videos on this channel all the time with specific altcoin recommendations. You can check those out. You can do your own research and you can build your own altcoin portfolio. But there are faster ways to do it. And there is a really good argument to be made for, for doing it in, in the way that I'm about to share here. So one option is to just invest in the Coinbase 50 fund, the Coinbase 50 index. So this is basically an index of coins that Coinbase has come out with uh, of about 50 coins. You can see the weight distribution here. You can click on the links on this screen here and look at the exact holdings that the Coin50 index fund has. So basically Coinbase here has just picked 50 of the most popular coins out there and they've created a basket. And this is available, I believe this is available in most jurisdictions on Coinbase. So you can jump in and you can just buy this index and not worry about doing a bunch of altcoin research and selecting individual altcoins. You can just buy this basket of coins. That's one option. Another option is just to buy the coins that are listed on Robinhood. Now, why? What is the reasoning behind that? The reasoning is that as this bull market continues to heat up, most retail investors, and it's retail investors who are really going to create the parabolic movement in altcoins, most retail investors, they don't know that much about crypto. They're not spending time on crypto Twitter. They're not spending time on coin market cap. They're not researching. They're not on DeFi Llama. They're not researching altcoins in depth. They're just hearing about crypto in the news and they're going to jump on the Robinhood app or they're going to jump on Coinbase and they're going to look at what's available. So on Robinhood, there's only a select number of coins available. Now, you probably know there are thousands and thousands of coins on coin market cap. There are different narratives in the crypto space right now that are hot. So AI, meme coins, um, um, real world assets, etc. And, and if you do have some crypto experience, you're going a little bit deeper and you're looking at those things. But most retail investors are just going to jump on and they're going to see, OK, uh, crypto is going up. Uh, there's a lot of excitement in crypto. I'm going to buy some Pepe coin because it's right here on Robinhood. I'm going to buy some Dogecoin. I'm going to buy some Ethereum. So, you know, sometimes you, you don't have to overthink things in crypto, especially when we enter this phase of the cycle. It's just about you, you kind of want to think a little bit less, actually, and just do uh, the easiest thing. And so this is one way to do it is just to select from the coins that that Robinhood offers. You can cut your, your, your research time down by a lot. You can cut your stress down by a lot and just ride the wave that the, the retail investors are going to ride. Now, a third option that's also a very simple solution, but it's also more surgical and more precise is that you could get access to our portfolio and see exactly what we're holding because we have an entire team that, that is dedicated to researching crypto, to researching the various narratives that are up and coming, 
that are hot, that are likely to outperform, and then picking select coins. And so we've built our own portfolio at the crypto code. It's currently up by 150%, and we anticipate this is going to go much higher as the bull market continues. This portfolio currently holds about 30 different coins across different sectors, across uh, six or seven different sectors that, that we anticipate are going to do extremely well in this cycle. Now, of course, going forward here on this channel, we're going to be continuing to release content about specific altcoin narratives and about specific altcoins that we're excited about. But these are three different solutions that you can jump on right now. I think there's a lot of bullish price action ahead in crypto. But if you really want to get in at a point where you're positioned to make optimal gains when crypto really starts to go parabolic, I do think the window's starting to close on that. And you want to start scaling in if you haven't already. Again, not financial advice, just what we are doing ourselves. Another thing, too, is that during this point in the cycle, it can be hard to time dips. Now, I'm all for buying on red, selling on green. You certainly can wait for the next dip and, and buy in there. But in this part of the cycle, it's harder to do because dips can be very shallow sometimes. They can also happen very quickly and get bought up very quickly. So this is just something to consider. It might be better to just start scaling in at this point, to not worry so much about timing things, but just to start scaling in. That way you don't keep missing dips and saying, okay, I'll wait for the next one. I'll wait for the next one, I'll wait for the next one. And before you know it, Bitcoin's at 150,000, altcoins have skyrocketed by 500% and you're still waiting for the next dip. You don't wanna get caught in that situation. I think one of the best things that you can do if you're not sure exactly how to navigate this bull market and you really want to get great results in the months ahead is to head over and watch our free workshop because in that free workshop we outline our exact strategies and you're going to learn about our premium trade alerts so these are ready-made trade setups that we, that, that we give to our members and one of the great things about the premium trade alerts is that you don't need to worry about whether we're in a bull market or a bear market because if you're trading frequently, you make money both ways. And that's exact, That's one of the things that we do. So our trade, trade alerts have a 90% win rate over across over 1,200 trades. And you can start implementing these right away. And again, you can be profiting whether we're in a bull phase of the market or a bear phase of the market. You'll also learn about WaveBot. That's our automated trading software that will just trade for you automatically. And you can be running that on top of implementing the premium trade alerts. You're going to learn about our power indicators. These are our indicators that we use on TradingView that tell us when to buy and sell crypto. And of course, you'll also get access to our buy and hold portfolio so that you can see all of the coins that we're holding. The workshop is completely free. I think you'll learn a ton. Plus, we will send you $10 in Bitcoin when you stay to the end of the workshop and just take a short quiz. So definitely check that out at the link on the screen. That about wraps things up for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the crypto code. If you found this video helpful, please like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more crypto insights. Let me know your thoughts on today's video in the comments below. You can also check out what we do here at the crypto code by registering for one of our free workshops where we show you how we and our students profit in crypto, no matter if the markets are up or down. If you register for the workshop, you also get access to a free weekly trade alert. Attend our free workshop, take a short quiz at the end, and we will send you $10 in Bitcoin. No purchase needed. We have already given away hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin just this year alone. Just look for the link in the description of this video to register for the workshop. It will be worth your time. Our public trade record currently has a 90% win rate, and you can view it here. Best of luck with your investments, and remember to stay informed and stay safe in the crypto world. See you next time.